This is Randall Roots, and this video will take a look at working with solutions and projects in Visual Studio. So, uh, in Visual Studio, as we, um, if you've seen the first video on how projects and solutions kind of work together, um, you can end up with a solution having one or more projects, and each project having one or more code files. Typically what you do though is you'll start with uh, making a, a new project. That project can be one of the business intelligence uh, projects if you have that set of templates installed. It could be a C sharp project of various different types if you have that template installed or other languages as well. But you know they all work pretty much the same. There's not a whole lot of difference. Um, and see what should I do here I've got so many choices well I'll tell you what I will go ahead and uh, just simply make a Windows application and uh, when I do I'll go ahead and give it a name I'll call it typical product project and the solution name probably should reflect the fact that you can have one or more so I'll put an S on there Typical projects, because it'll be, you know, in fact, maybe I should say zero one. Okay, so um, normally it'll create a directory for the solution. That, that's probably what you want to do if you have source control uh, set up, um, like Git, Git or uh, Visual, excuse me, uh, Team Foundation Server, or uh, like even Visual Source Save, I believe, still works here just fine. Uh, you can go ahead and, and click on that, but we don't have that right now, so it's no big deal. Now, if uh, you already had a solution open, it'll actually just save the, ask you to save the change changes, but I'm going to go ahead and just deny that. Um, and we've got a new solution called Typical Projects and a Typical Project 1. And in here, you would go ahead and start doing whatever development you're going to do. Uh, development can be all kinds of things, such as just going through and changing I don't know, something on the screen. Let's do something a little silly. Um, let's see, how about we go through and transparency key. I'm not sure I need all of that. Let's try it. Can we get a dark blue on there? Change the text. Let's see, and I don't know, we'll change the size. And see the actual transparency color, which appears transparent when painted on the form. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So anyway, um, now that we've got a, a change here, let's say that I want to save this work. So the the next thing to do would be to go ahead and hit the save button. And you would think that if you want to save it someplace else, you'd go up here and say File Save As. But you have to be careful. The only thing that's really saving is Form 1. Okay. So I'll tell you what, I want to go ahead and go to the project level and say <clears throat> typical project save as. And if you look, it's actually only saving the project file. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to go to the solution. Solution save as and once again you're only saving the solution file. So it, you know most things you would save use the save as to to put things in a different place or send it to somebody but you don't do that with Visual Studio instead what you want to do is you want to right click on the solution icon and open the folder in File Explorer and then what you want to do is you want to, to copy all these files now probably the easiest thing to do is go up one level of organization so that you can um, grab the entire project folder and then zip it. I use 7-zip myself. I think that's a really fantastic program. But you know, you could also just go through and um, use the send to option. Let's see if I can get that menu choice on here. Ah, come on now. Behave. Ah, so close. There we go send to compress folder that works fine too so if I use that it'll make a zip 
folder, a zipped folder. I can then go ahead and copy that or email it to somebody. Let's see, share with, let's see, um, send to mail recipient, or just you know attach it as a, any other zip file. And uh, the importance of that is that in that folder now I have all the stuff that I need. I mean the solution file, the project file, and the various code files. So if somebody sends me a zip file like this, let's see, I'll close down Visual Studio. I can then go through and unzip it. I to tell you the truth, I've gotten in Windows Vista and above. The easiest thing to do is just double click on the zip file and just copy out the contents and paste it. It's actually just a little bit easier than do it using the extraction tool. And then uh, once that's done, the solution file and the project file and all the code files that go along with it are there. So I can just go ahead and uh, open with uh, whichever version of Visual Studio I have selected. So I'll just choose 2012. And I'm back and ready to work. And they, it is in a different location. So if you want to send somebody your Visual Studio project code files, that's the way to do it. Anyway, um, hope that helps you to understand how to work with the solution and project files. Um, in future videos, we'll take a look at some other common settings and the like that you may find useful. Until then, though, uh, happy coding.